This is Capital Views, and I'm Mike Bradner, and we have with us uh, the new Commissioner of Labor, Heidi Dragas. And uh, Heidi, let, let's talk about all the things that the department do uh, that people don't really realize they do. I mean, they have a lot of different functions. Yeah, I, you know, I didn't even realize it, um, all that was involved in it. You know, I came from a general counsel role with the Labor's Union, which is, was very different and, and, and was involved with the department, but in a small degree. And then when I got there, I learned about all the different divisions that are involved. There's workers' compensation and the employment security division, um, which deals with unemployment and insurance benefits. Um, there's the division of business partnership, with it, which administers a lot of the training grants and programs that we provide to the public. Um, we have the Alaska Labor Relations Agency that deals with the disputes between um, labor and public employers. Um, the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation, um, and I'm going to miss a few departments. I wasn't trying to rattle off every single one, but it's it is a it's a huge department. And and the first um, couple days that I was on the job, um, it was kind of a, a whirlwind. I, I tell people, and I, um, I think a lot of new commissioners would agree, it's like drinking from a fire hose. So there's a lot going on. Um, and but in the first couple days, it, I, it was important to me to get out and and meet. The employees within the department, and I was in Anchorage at the time, and um, you know we have a, a building at Sixth and K downtown, and, and I just went uh, downstairs and talked to the folks in the Division of Business Partnerships, and and I went into um, the offices uh, where the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation is there in that office, and the work that they they're performing is um, it's it's really important to them. It's it's valuable. They're um, uh, you know, I, I visited with some folks at Labor Standards and Safety, and they're they're dealing with mechanical inspections. They're um, making sure that um, that uh, uh, that workers are being paid fairly. They're making sure that um, um, the safety standards are being met, um, OSHA safety standards, and um, it, they're, these are critical um, components of of a workplace and of society and there's a lot of longevity in the department and I think it's because people get it's they they sense the value um, in the work that they do they really enjoy it um, and that struck me as I was meeting um, people I, I, I visited the Eagle Street location in Anchorage um, we have our job center out in Muldoon um, uh, that uh, I got to meet with uh, a lot of those folks and our wage and hour offices out in, on Muldoon and Anchorage. And then when I came down to Juneau um, at the beginning of the legislative session, um, I got to visit um, the job center out here. We have a one-stop job center out in the valley here in Juneau. Um, and it's, I just, I, I, I think what really struck me is not just the, the, the people that I met, which really believe in the mission of the department. We keep workers safe. We um, provide reemployment benefits when they don't have any. Uh, you mentioned uh, wage an hour, and you know, for the individual citizen, that's some place they can pick up the phone yes. and call if and they find have an out. Issue. You know, uh, as well as other enforcement mm -hmm. enforcement uh, mm -hmm. uh, procedures, and mm -hmm. and so that's sort of like an ombudsman, and it, it can happen within minutes. So. And they field calls all the time. I mean, should I be paid overtime for this? And am I being properly paid per diem? And um, the folks there um, take their jobs very seriously um, and understand, uh, you know, the importance of enforcing the laws that we have on the books um, and the regulations that we have. Um, what about the training facilities that the department's involved in? Well, the department has one training facility, AVTEC, the Alaska Vocational Technical and Education Center in Seward. Um, it's a terrific facility. Um, we have a culinary program. We have welding. Um, we have a maritime program. Um, you know, I'd encourage folks if they're looking for vocational training and education. Um, I don't think you're, you'll find one that's much better. Um, and it is—it's uh, one of the components of the uh, Alaska Department of Labor and Workforce Development. Um, it's uh, uh, actually their kitchen is, is state of the art now. It, it really is is terrific. No, that's um, any age, you know, any time in somebody's career. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it absolutely can be. I think most most folks that go there are, tend to be a younger demographic. We get a lot of folks from um, rural areas that come in. Um, we have dormitory facilities on campus. Um, but we also administer um, training um, funds, um, grant programs, our STEP program, um, state education, uh, state training and uh, educa uh, education program. Um, 
uh, employment program, I, I believe. Um, anyway, we, we have grant funds that we can, um, uh, they're competitive and uh, different uh, training centers can apply for them and apprenticeship programs. Um, and we've uh, successfully awarded. Um, I had somebody tell me once that uh, a young person, when they realize what working for a minimum wage is, that's where they can go. And a staff member said yes, and that's when we're ready for them because they want something. Yeah, yeah. And we're working hard too to make sure that people know about those opportunities that um, young people in rural Alaska are aware of the of the training programs, not just um, the the AvTech the, 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 within our yes. department, yeah. but the regional training centers and all across the state in in Nome and Kotzebue. Um, in, uh, in, in Bethel and, and all these um, these really great um, partnerships that we have with the regional training centers. Um, and uh, it, 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 that's one thing, you know, I would like to, to bring to the department is really to um, uh, make sure that the uh, Alaskans are aware of the opportunities they have for workplace advancement. I think that's really important. And that's important because as kids go to college, they hear a lot of emphasis on college, 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 university. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those kids know, for one reason or another, that's not for them, at least right now. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is their opportunity. Well, mo most, most, um, gra most graduates from high school or kids coming out of high school or if they didn't finish high school, most of them are not gonna get four-year college degrees. Um, but they're not aware, I think a lot of them aren't aware that there is another pathway and it's a perfectly, it's a, it's a terrific pathway to learn a trade and become skilled and to find value in the work that you perform. And you know, that's one of the things I really admire about um, Governor Walker is his, his belief in um, career and technical education and really um, wanting um, the, the Department of Labor to really enhance our CTE program and to work with the, uh, the university and uh, the Department of Education um, to um, really kind of uh, make our CTE um, program uh, uh, more efficient um, and better provide services, to eliminate duplication. I mean, in this budget climate, we're definitely trying to um, uh, to, to do more with less, and I think there's a real opportunity to do that. I've had great conversations with the president of the university and the commissioner of education, Mike Hanley, and uh, I, I think we're, we're all really excited to, to um, really enhance um, our, our CTE program here in the state of Alaska. Heidi, we're out of time. And this has been Capital Views. I'm Mike Bradner, and we've been talking to Heidi Gigas, the new commissioner of labor. Thank you, Heidi. Thanks very much.